really fast and he like puts his hands up in the air like he's parachuting or jumping out of a plane. It's really cute. That's right, we have kittens. So one of our barn cats named Puss, uh, she was running around here for a while with a really big belly. Then one day she came back and didn't have the belly, so we thought she had kittens. She's gonna go under and there. four weeks later, we found some kittens. Um, the little tiger looking one, her name is Tigress. And the white with gray spots is Whisper. And that we only found those two that day. But we ended up finding a total of six kittens. Oh my gosh. When we found Tigress, she had her eyes crusted shut. So it was very good that her mom did bring her to us to see. And then three of the other kittens also had a respiratory infection. So we had to treat those with some stuff, but they're doing really well now. And I will show you the rest of the kitties here soon. I see yours, Colston. No, that's, that's Puss. I see Puss. Yeah, yours, they're feeding right now. She's feeding the other baby. Her other baby? Yeah. yeah. Did the fourth one? Now they're going to be feeding. No, yeah. the other one. Oh, Colson's. Oh, Blab. Ding. <laughs> <laughs> She'll swing. She's, she's, she's like, I'm a tigress. <laughs> she's trying to swing on both. <laughs> one. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Yay. Watermelon, mac and cheese, chicken nuggets, scalloped potatoes, and barbecue chicken. That's not even so. Like, yes, it is. Grandma is the bomb. Dot com. She is. Okay, so I've got Coco up here. She does not like it when I touch her udders, but once the machine is on... She doesn't mind it. To being a good girl. So once I'm done, I'll show you guys how much I got out of her. Um, so pros on milking machine, they're a lot more relaxed because you're not constantly touching them. And I'm more relaxed because they're not constantly fighting me. Um, so that's the pro about milking with a goat that has teeny teats. Um, I feel like the machine is works so much better on tiny teats. Now on Julie's, hers are so large that you don't get a lot of milk coming out. It takes forever for it to stream out. See here with Coco, she's got a lot of flow. So it's one of the, the benefits of milking with a milking machine if you have a goat with small teeth. And Coco is all done. I'm not sure if she let Marvel, the other baby, drink on her a little bit this morning or not. It kind of looked like it, but I didn't get very much out of her. Hopefully, she starts getting her own grain every day, getting up on the stand every day, um, and eating more, she will start producing more milk.
All right, I got Miss Julie up here. Hi, Julie. She likes her butt scratched. So, I think I'm just gonna milk her out by hand. Um, last night when we did it by hand, it was so much faster. And again, it's because her teats are big and they have more flow when you actually hand milk her. So, I will try to film that. So last night, I had to sit up against her so she don't try to move. I also had Aria to help me move her leg. I might have to find my wobble. Well, you don't want to be a good girl. I think she likes the milker better. Because like I said, you just have to touch her a little bit and then she can relax. And I can relax, but it takes too long.
This one is from Coco, the non-registered, non-dairy line goat. 
This is from Miss Julie, the registered goat with a really good milk lines. And normally she does give more than this. Um, she gives about that much at night too. So it's about half a gallon a day. And then I'm also letting the baby drink off of her. So it would be probably this plus about that much if I didn't let the marble drink on her. But yeah, so those are the pros and cons of hand milking and milking by machine. Hopefully that helped you guys make a decision on what you're going to do. Thanks so much for watching.